Yo! What's up, everybody? Uh, Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. And I uh, want to spend a special shout-out to any mothers out there watching. Uh, happy Mother's Day uh, from Uncle Jesse and the Rip City Cards of Ripping Wax fam. To you and yours, Happy Mother's Day. Uh, with that being said, we went ahead and filled the last break that we have in the store. 28, uh, 2019 Bowman Baseball Hobby Case Number 8. All right, baby. Let's get this show on the road. Now let's uh, first put the teams up. I'm pretty sure you you, you want to know who you got because this has been in the store a couple weeks. But like I always say, eventually every break fills. There's got to be a little patience. All right, there it is. Uh, the game is on ESPN. The Nuggets Blazers game is on ESPN or ABC. I think it's on, I think it's on both. There is Bowman and all its hobby action and glory. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abraham. Alrighty, let's do this. Blazers up three, eight seconds to go. Nuggets do have a timeout so they can advance the ball. All you got to do is make your free throws. It's a four point game. Clutch free throws by Evan Turner. But the game ain't over yet. Eight seconds, a lot can happen. Nuggets are going to unleash that secret weapon next year they got. Michael Porter Jr. And if the Nuggets end up losing this series, Nuggets are going to be scary good next year. That Michael Porter kid is a beast. Before he, uh, before he got hurt in college. And that's why he dropped down in the draft. And a, few, you know, a lot of people don't really know who he is, but... When he was healthy before his injury, he was one of the better players in the country. So Nuggets got to steal with that kid. They, uh, I think they took the Ben Simmons approach. His entire rookie year, he's been out. Trying to get at 100%. That Nuggets team is going to be scary next year. But it ain't over yet. It's a four-point game. If the Nuggets can somehow hit a three and get fouled, that's a tight game right there if you make a free throw. But uh, let's see what we got in this Bowman. Good luck, everybody. Do I see a gold shimmer already? Well, Jokic took a three. And that is game. Blazers are going to the conference final. And they're going to face the Warriors. Oh, boy. That should be a good series. Nuggets fans sick to their stomach right now. Jonathan Hernandez to 50. Rangers, Gold Shimmer, Mojo. Mm 
happening right now. Let's focus on what's really important. This Bowman, baby. Come on. We need big hits for my people here. Mother's Day special. Got an Eloy Jimenez, cracked ice here. They're not numbered, but very nice regardless. We have Brandon Marsh to 150 Angels. Where is the auto? We got Tristan McKenzie, 125 Indies. Where the heck is the auto? Did I like miss it or something? Oh, nice. Orange autograph. For the White Sox, Michael Kopech, two, uh, 7 to 25. Rookie autograph. That is a filler team right there getting a hit. Kyle Wright, 499 Braves. That's one box down. Just up at the side. Ah, Matt. We're done with that, brother. How are you, Matt? Not bad, man. I can't complain, dude. Well, I will complain a little bit. You know, I have a little barbecue at the house right now. But, that complaint aside, once I'm done with this break, we have nothing in the store uh, that I could actually break right now. We have Prism Baseball pre-sale going on. That comes out Wednesday. Uh, we also have the, uh, the Spectra Basketball pre-sale going. That comes out Friday. That's what, that's what I'm hoping too, man. I'm hoping they save me a plate. Because, uh, you know... I know how my family gets down, so I'm, I'm hopeful that I don't have to resort to Taco Bell or some bullshit like that. My mom will save me a plate of anything. She got my back. She got my back. 
Happy Mother's Day to you and yours, uh, Matt. Nice, yeah. It seems like everybody's, you know, doing something with the uh, with their family or whatnot, barbecues or whatever. Hmm. Where are they gonna show that other game? It's not on ABC. It's not on ESPN. TNT maybe? Yep. Get this put aside here. Alrighty. Gotta have something huge here for somebody. Last case of Bowman, I, I don't predict we're going to get any more of this stuff. So let's go out with a bang. Oh, that Blazers Warriors. Uh, hopefully that's a good sale. I hope it goes seven games. I think I see another orange shimmer back there. Hopefully it's an auto. Not an auto, but it is orange shimmer. 15 to 25, Edward Cabrera Marlins. Got Domingo Acevedo, four ninety nine Yankees. Mason Martin, Pirates autograph. There you go. Anthony Rizzo, the twenty five orange paper Cubs. We have Nolan Gorman, 499 Cardinals. back here 
It is Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays. Cracked ice. Two boxes down. Ten lift. What's up? Uh, hi to you too, JMS. Happy Mother's Day to you and yours. What's up, Tim? How are you, my dude? Happy Mother's Day to you and yours. That's what I'm talking about, Tim. Happy to hear that, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Ooh, nice. For the Astros. Gold autograph. 31 of 50, Kyle Tucker. Astros rookie. Very nice. Very, very nice hit for the Astros. What's going on? Uh, forget this one. Happy Mother's Day to you and yours. 
Purple Paper, Adam Hazley, 250 Phillies. Cracked Eyes for Jordan Adams, Angels. Goldschmidt, four ninety nine Cardinals. All good. Forget this one. You know we, we have uh, uh, our few share of lurkers here and there. So thank you for uh, stopping by, and saying hi. And uh, just want to let you know, new customers save fifteen dollars off their first purchase. All you got to do is register for an account. Uh, it's Jury Ruiz to one fifty Padres. Uh, well, Michael, I'll say that I personally would like to see the Raptors uh, go to the conference final. But I think it's going to be the... Uh, uh, I would really like to see Blazers-Raptors in the finals. But you know, I think it might be Warriors-Bucks. Uh, Warriors Warriors-Bucks. Adonis Medina, 250 Phillies, but I'll definitely, uh, I, I really don't care who wins between the uh, Raptors and the, and, the, and the Sixers, but I would like to see the Raptors uh, go ahead and win. To my knowledge, I don't think the Raptors have ever made it to a conference final or even won an, uh, an NBA championship. And I like to root for the underdog. You know, Blazers won a championship way back in the day. So, I think it'd be a, a nice matchup to see those two teams go at it. Yeah, you know, I, I really hope that the... I, I Honestly, I think the Blazers could step up and beat the Warriors, man. I think it's a good matchup, especially with KD being hurt. You know, it's 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 the perfect storm, if you will, for the Blazers to uh, advance to their first NBA Finals in a in a while. Yeah, JMS, uh, you you, to, you you mentioned that already, so uh, you're welcome yet again. Well, dude, uh, forget this one. I mean, if, check out our website, ripcitycars.com. Uh, we, we usually have pre-sales for new products a week in advance. Or, you know, as soon as we get a checklist out, you know, we put prices together. And we put pre-sales up on our website. Uh, this week, Wednesday, Prism Baseball comes out. And on Friday, Spectra Basketball comes out. So if you want to head, uh, you want to go ahead and just secure, your, lock down your team. You can go ahead and do that. JMS, I'm pretty sure you mentioned both, but either way, you're welcome. Y'all do anything nice for your mommies? Yeah, Prism Baseball is in the store right now. That product comes out this Wednesday. We already have the pre-sale up. I think we have four or five uh, cases up now. Is that true? NS Cancer cannot travel outside the country? Why is that?
Alright, this is uh, box number four here for anyone keeping count. Nice. A Jeter Downs to 150 Dodgers. That blue on blue looking nice. Right, let's get some more color autos. Corey Ray, 499 Brewers. How come Ennis Cantor can't travel outside the country? Does he not have a passport? The hell? now Bowman <laughs> why Zach, well, you know, thank you for explaining yourself. Jordan Alvarez, Astros Crack Dice. I guess I'm going to have to Google that myself uh, you know, on my own time. Which will be after this break is done. <laughs> which should take roughly another 30, 45 minutes or so. If that, I mean, I'm going pretty quick. Trying to get back to my mama and that barbecue. Yo, I swear, if they do not save me food, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset. Cable Ruiz, 125 Dodgers. Turkey has warrants out for him because he's against the government. Well, I'm not the smartest... Uh, Dude around, but I'm pretty sure Canada is not Turkey, Zach. So I, you know, I I don't know how that how that even would affect him, honestly. As long as you don't go try to go back to Turkey or whatever, I, I don't see an issue. But then again, what do I know? Nothing, that's what. Belize Alexander to 299. Autograph. Yes, we did, JMS. And I like it, man. You know that he he's he the those three three arrests were kind of uh BS if you ask me. You know, one, I think he he got arrested for resisting arrest, but he you know he did not like you know, do any harm to the officer. Another one was for like marijuana possession, and another one's one for I, I I forgot what the third one was or whatever. Rizzo for the Cubs to two fifty, but I like the pickup. You know, he's a Miami dude. You know, unfortunately, uh, people out there in Ohio, or you know, or for whatever reason in Cincinnati, couldn't get anything going his rookie year. I mean, they do have a pretty good running back out there. With uh, with that mixing kid, but I like I like the pickup, man. Personally, I like it. I'm a you know big fan of Mark Walton's. You know, can't really speak to his character, uh, but at least when he played for the you know for the University of Miami, never had any you know never heard of him having any issues uh, with the law or anything like that. Again, when he was in college, so I don't know what happened with him in Ohio. Again, you know. Exactly, maybe, maybe hanging around the wrong crowd or something like that. But, you know, he's back home. He's in Miami. You know, he's surrounded by family. He's in, he's in an environment that he's familiar with. 
So, you know, I think he's going to be a really, really, really good pickup for us. Uh, and, you know, I hope, I hope you didn't uh, burn your Mark Walton cards out there, anybody that has them. Because I think he's going to be a big, huge addition to us. More competition in that, you know, in that running back room. Should be interesting to see. I, I don't I don't I don't even know what that is what that means. That what does expedited mean? We also signed Xavier Howard. Uh, he is, I think now, he's the, the highest paid cornerback in the league. By far our best player on defense. So I, I really like what Miami's doing, man. This entire offseason, Brian Flores and company. I can, I can already see the difference. I like that we didn't overpay for Jawan James. You know, I know some Dolphin fans were upset about that, but that kid was solid at best for us. Like, he wasn't even, like, a good guard. So, glad that he's gone because, you know, we probably would have had to overpay to keep him here anyway, and he was not worth the money. We, play, we paid Xavier and Howard. Who has quietly been the best DB in the National Football League over the past two seasons? So I like what we're doing, man. We're, we're you know we're sending a message. If you ball out, if you produce, you're gonna get paid. We're taking care of our own. So I'm I'm really really interested to see how the Dolphins are gonna look like this year. I don't expect much, to be honest. I, I think we're probably going to win maybe four or five games. But we'll see. We'll see. They always find a way to surprise me every year. So basically, he can't leave the States because if he does, oh, he has immunity. In the, okay, there we go. That... For a feeble brain like mine, I understand immunity. Genesis Cabrera, Cardinals autograph. So as long as he's as long as he's in the United States, he's Gucci. Got it. So what is he like a? I guess like a refugee or something maybe. Man, that sucks, man. Can't leave the country because you're wanted. No bueno. Moogie Betts, 499 Red Sox. What's going on with you, Jim? You know, you came in here just dropping knowledge. Hope all is well, man. Happy Mother's Day to you and yours. We got Brendan Rodgers, 499 Rockies. Man, that sucks though. Like if he if he if the Blazers really do make it to the finals and the Raptors do as well, that's gonna suck. That's yo, that's I wonder what the M if the M I don't I don't think the NBA could do anything about it, but like I wonder 
if they're going to attempt to do anything about it, like maybe even the odds, like, all right, since Ennis Cantor can't travel, you know, Raptors, y'all going to have to sit down Mark Gasol or something like that, like have an, a player inactive or something. That would be the fair route, you know, I guess. Ethan Hankins, Indians, cracked ice. I think Cantor's starting for them, for the Blazers. So that, that would be the fair way to go. You just sit your starter out, have him inactive, and boom. That's, that's going to be interesting. Austin Beck of the A's to 125. Ah, there you, go. <laughs> there you go, Jim. That allows you to do, you know, pretty much whatever you want to do. You know, I've only ever seen my mom drunk once in my life. And it was the funniest thing ever. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll, I'll never forget that. Right, Jim? Cancer's been really solid for him. Makes you think. Imagine if they had uh, Nurkic with Cancer coming off the bench. Man, that would have been a nasty rotation. And if Nurkic played, they probably could have beat the Nuggets in less than seven games. So interesting to see things going moving forward. And he's, and he's doing it with a bum shoulder, too. He's got a bum shoulder, and he's out there balling. Way through here. This is box number six. How about the Warriors eliminating the Rockets without KD? Steph Curry putting up all of his points in the second half. I think he scored like 25 of his 33 points in the fourth quarter alone. People were saying, oh, Rockets got it. It's, it's over. Without KD, they have no chance. Y'all must have forgot. The Splash Brothers still playing, still balling. Still the Splash Brothers. But, you know, in this next round against the Blazers, I don't know. I think we might see another seven-game series there. I don't know what Kevin Durant is looking like. and he, he may be able to come back for this series. I doubt it, but you never know with modern science. You know, inject him with like a steroid or something, and you know he'll be good to go, kind of deal. You know, you know what they should do? They need to get a hold of those other FIFA people. You know, during the World Cup when they have, you know, whenever the player goes down with an injury, and they hit him with that magic spray. Next thing you know, you know, players back, you know, running around like crazy, like nothing happened. That's what the NBA needs, or uh, the NFL too, like. We, we, need, we need to get our hands on that magic spray. All right, 
let's put a little magic spray on this uh, Bowman here. We're halfway. Let's see what we get. Purple paper, Roberto Ramos, 250 Rockies. Blue sugar back there. No ink on it though. Lion Richardson to uh, 150 reds. Nice. A little crack dice auto for the Royales. A little cheese on that. Brady Singer to 100. Royales Mojo. Kimmy G with some hits on this Mother's Day. Christian Javier, Astros cracked ice. Ooh. Five of five red paper for the twins. Jake Cave. A little something, something right there. Go ahead and get that thing top loaded. Boom. Got a purple pirate to two fifty, Mitch Keller. Halfway.
Where the hell did that go from? Random scratch on me. <coughs> All righty. Box seven. What wonders do you hold? A Super Fractor Auto would be nice. Or an orange paper. Jordan Adams to 25 Angels. Austin Beck. A's Cracked Eyes. Sixers and Raptors about to tip off in like 10 minutes or so. Matt Mercer, the refractor autograph, number to 499 D backs auto. Got Ronaldo Hernandez, two ninety nine Rees. What do they call this? The speckle variation, I guess.
almost wrapping up. up a little bit more space and put this over here slide to the left yeah just a little bit more space excuse me Game seven. Who's watching the uh, Raptors Sixers game? Hopefully, it's a good one. All right. Hopefully, this box is a good one. So we got. Something big for the peoples here, Bowman. Come on. Yankee Auto, Chance Adams with the rookie Yankee autograph. What the heck is this? Cole Tucker to one twenty five Pirates. Miguel Amaya, cracked ice Cubs.
Raptors off to a fast start. Sixers have not scored a point yet. Down by six. Not the way you want to start a game. Crack dice to 150 for the Pirates, the talent pipeline. Cool looking card. Four boxes left. So much paper in this stuff. Man, they are taking way too many threes here. Get into the paint. Sixers finally on the board. Three to six. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Get some water here. Joel and beat shooting threes. Bro, if I was his coach, I would not allow Joel and beat to shoot threes. Even if you can make them, I don't care. You are way too big to be shooting threes. There's an auto for the Orioles, Dean Kramer. Orioles autograph. Look, this last four box got, I'm mean, sorry, the last three boxes got to have a monster in them. Grats and roll. Twins, 499. Excuse me.
Daniel Johnson of the Nationals. Crack types. Blue paper, Dean Dunning to 150 White Sox. Right, three left. <clears throat> three left. Is anybody watching? <laughs> kind of quiet here in the chat. You feel me? Forget this one. It's usually like this, you know, on Sundays. Sundays are usually very slow. Not to mention it's Mother's Day. And, you know, there's baseball going on, basketball, so people probably watch and tuned into that. I blame Mother's Day. I blame Mother's Day. Box 10, almost done. Let's get a monster here. Maybe a Super Fractor Auto will uh, wake the room up. Let's see. I think I see orange back there. Would be nice if that had some ink on it. 
Alas, it does not. But to 25 for the Tigers, Matt Manning. Sonic Youth, I'm assuming that's a band. You know, never heard of them. <clears throat> we got Jonathan Hernandez, blue paper to 150. Dude, for, you know, I, I, you know, it's nothing personal at all. You know, I was gonna say they could, they could very well be a new band, and I just, I would have no idea, dude. You know, I just, I'm pretty disconnected from uh, popular media, if you will. You know, not, a, not a real big fan of social media or like, uh, dude. I, I still listen to music from the '90s, dude. Christian Santana to four ninety nine Dodgers autograph. There you go, Dodgers. What kind of music do they make? I might be interested. <laughs> Sonic Youth sounds like it could be a. a, a a rock band or electronic or I have no idea. William Contreras, Braves Craig Dice. Daydream Nation, is that a band too or Sounds like a channel on XR Radio or something. XM Radio. Uh, Grazie Roll for the Twins of 25. That is the Bowman Sterling variation. Yeah. Decent. I just recently started getting into like rock music and stuff. Was never really my cup of tea, but, you know. The more and more I listen to it, the more I get into it. Like the other day, I found this uh, this band. Um, oh God, what's their name again? I have it on my uh, on my phone here. It is called Stylus. The name of the band is called Stylus, and uh, they're pretty funky. You know, they, they have a nice little range of music anyway from like jazz, fusion, to like alternative, to like just straight up rock. And they have like electronic elements too. It's, 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 it's a funky band. They're, they're old school. You know, they've been around since like the 80s. I think even before that. And they're still making music. Pretty, 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 pretty dope band. That I just recently discovered. Two boxes left. I think you would like them. Uh, forget this one. Check check out a song called Elevation by them. Elevation by Stylus, spelled S-T-Y-L-U-S. 
Y L U S. All right, box number eleven here, almost done. And I need to check out that uh, that Daydream Nation situation. What's the name of the band? Uh, I'm gonna call you FTO. I'm gonna acronym, acronym you. FTO, forget this one, FTO. Sonic Youth, there it is, got it. Marcus Soul, why are you taking threes? Oh my god. I, I kind of hate this new uh, style of basketball people are playing where everybody has to shoot the three. Alright, box 11. Let's see what we got. Got an Austin Beck 499 E's. Come on. There's a Brave autograph to 250. Darian Cruz. The autograph. There you go, Mike G. A hit right there. It's the exact same name, so why isn't it? That is strange. It's the exact same name. Maybe because of that space? Yeah, that's probably what it is. There we go. I like to have all the names together and stuff. Makes it a little bit easier. Man, that dude is out of shape, but I think I could be an MB, uh, MLB player. In my dreams. I'm going to start hitting up the batting cages. If I can hit a 100, 100 mile an hour fastball, I'm going to try out for the Marlins because we suck. So I think I can make the team. Anthony K, Mets cracked ice. You know, put me at first base. I'll be the first baseman in in, in the in the NL 
holding it down for the Marlins. Rookie of the year. Yeah, Curry definitely changed the game. But, you know, I could understand if guards are more, you know, three-point oriented. But big men, like power forward centers, have no business shooting the three. Anthony Siegler to the Nine Yankees. I don't think so, forget this one. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I don't watch baseball. So I personally have no idea... What is going on? You know, I do keep track of the Marlins because they're the hometown team. But we suck. So. so there's that. But yeah, I, I couldn't even tell you who the top rookie is right now. No idea. I mean, there's only like 300, 300 games left to play in, in the season. <laughs> Baseball season is way too long. We got Nate Pearson to 25. Blue Jays. You know, maybe if the Marlins were any good and they actually made a commitment to winning, maybe I would start watching them again. But, you know, after we got rid of Beckett and just, you know, broke apart that second championship team, I was I was just done with the with baseball really. I blame the Marlins, I blame the Marlins. Last box mojo, baby. Personally, biggest hit I pulled in Bowman. Man, there's been a few Wonder Francos. Uh, Victor, Victor Mesa. How about how about I tell you which one I haven't pulled? I've pulled basically all the big names except for Vlad. Pull the Franco to like 100. That might be the biggest one. But I've also pulled the Joey Bart to 100. An orange Victor Victor Mesa too. Hope that. Let's see it forget this one let's do it see if we can jinx that into existence 
Dude, I can't tell you how many times that's happened though, like all jokes aside. It happens with quite freak like quite frequently where people will come in the chat and be like, hey dude, pull this card for me. And then lo and behold, I'll pull it. And there's been times where you like just now, like conversation we're having now, like, oh dude, I haven't pulled such and such. And then, you know, I rip open a box and there it is. So here's hoping Vladdy comes out to play. What about you, forget this one? Are you into Bowman baseball at all? If so, what's the biggest hit uh, that you've got? As we approach the last and final box. Good luck, everyone. Especially those without a hit. Here we go. Trying to get that Victor Victor. Or the Victor Mesa. I pulled both. And hopefully they paint out for the Marlins. We got Taylor Widener, four nine nine D bags. A red Gourmand, I pulled for the Cardinals. That's decent. I did pull a Super Fractor for a D-back player. It wasn't an autograph, but a Super Fractor nonetheless. I can't remember the name of the player. Though. But it was a D-back. My boy Mason already with his Rookie of the Year picks. Jose De La Cruz. Tigers, correct eyes. Well, hopefully we can turn that luck around for you one of these days. Uh, FTO. Luciano, 499 Giants. That would have been nice with some mink on it. Gotta be the last stack. Come on, who's it gonna be? And there it is. Not bad. Would have been nice if I had some color. Julio Pablo Martinez. Rangers Autograph. Not bad. Let's see what else we got. Sounds good, FTO. Listen, don't uh, don't threaten me with a good time, brother. All right, let's see what else we have here to wrap this up. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for the break. Maybe on Cardboard Connection FTO, you know, they're usually one of the first to have checklists up on uh, CardboardConnection.com. All right, let's uh, recap this thing, shall we? So our lowest number parallel, a red paper, number five of five, eBay 101, Jake Cave Twins. Uh, yeah, Michael, I don't have anything to rip else in the store. 
Everything that's in the store right now is uh, pre-sales. All right, what do we have here? What's up, David G? Uh, we got Julio Pablo Martinez Rangers. Darian Cruz Braves to 250. Christian Santana Dodgers 499. We have Dean Kramer Orioles. Chance Adams Yankees. Matt Mercer 499 D backs. Brady Singer to 100 Royals. Genesis Cabrera Cardinals. Blaze Alexander 299 D backs. Probably the best hit out of all of them. Cal Tucker, 31 of 50, Astros, gold. Mason Martin, Pirates, and Michael Kopech, 7 of 25, White Sox. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out.